about a king who was bringing in all of the people of the land who owed him money. One by one they came to see the king, and one by one they paid him. But there was one servant who owed the king 10,000 bags of gold and could not pay. If you cannot pay your debt, then you and your family will be sold to pay back what you owe. The servant begged and pleaded with the king. Oh no, please, please give me time. I promise I'll pay you back. The king felt sorry for him, forgave him of his debt, and let him go. You may go. You have been forgiven of your debt. As the servant left, he suddenly remembered someone that owed him money. Hey, you! Pay back what you owe me! Please, give me time. I'll pay it back. The servant refused to show him mercy and had the man thrown in jail. If only I was given more time! The king heard about what the servant had done and called for him. You evil servant! I had mercy on you and forgave all that you owed me. 
You should have done the same for the man who owed you. The king then had the servant thrown into jail until he could pay his debt. Oh no, now I'm in jail. If only I would have had a good attitude and showed mercy. The, the end. end. Ha 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 ha. Stories of the Bible, the parable of the unforgiving servant. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys and even raised people from the dead. Uh, One day, Jesus was talking with his disciples and teaching them when Peter asked, Um, Gira? How often should I forgive someone who sins against me? Seven times? Jesus said, No, not seven times, but 70 times seven. Then Jesus told a parable. He said, the kingdom of heaven can be compared to a king who decided to get his money back that he had let his servants borrow. While the king was doing this, one of the servants who owed him a million dollars was brought in. One million dollars, please? The servant couldn't pay, so the king ordered that he be sold, along with his family and everything he owned, to pay the debt. Wait, please! But the servant begged the king, Please be patient with me, and I will pay it all. Then his king was filled with pity for him, and he let him go and forgave his debt. But when the man left the king, he went to a fellow servant who owed him a few thousand dollars. Uh, hi? Come here, Will. He grabbed him and demanded that he pay him back immediately. Oh, wait, please! His fellow servant begged for a little more time. He said, be patient with me and I will pay it. No! But the servant wouldn't wait. He had the man arrested and put in prison until the debt could be paid in full. When some of the other servants saw this, they were very upset. They went to the king and told him everything that had happened. Then the king called in the man he had forgiven and said, you evil servant, I forgave you that tremendous debt because you pleaded with me. Shouldn't you have mercy on your fellow servant, just as I had mercy on you? Then the angry king sent the man to prison to be punished until he had paid all that he owed. Jesus then said, That's what my heavenly Father will do to you if you refuse to forgive your brothers and sisters from your heart. I was playing basketball with my friend, and he said something that made me really mad. It's not easy to forgive when we feel like that, is it? Who said anything about forgiving? Besides, I've forgiven him before. Do I have to forgive him again? In the Bible, Peter asked Jesus a question just like that. Peter asked if he should forgive someone seven times. Seven times? That's a lot! What did Jesus say? Jesus said we should forgive someone 70 times 7 times. Let's see, 0 times 7 is 0, and then 7 times 7 is... Wait, I'm supposed to forgive him 490 times? How am I supposed to keep track of all that? That was Jesus' point. We aren't supposed to keep track. We're just supposed to forgive every time. Jesus told a story so Peter could understand. A king had a servant who borrowed millions of dollars from him. That's a lot of money. You could buy a lot of basketballs with that. Right, and there was no way the servant could ever pay the king back. The king ordered that the servant and his whole family be sold. That meant they would all be slaves, even the kids. The servant begged the king for more time to pay the debt. So did the king give him more time? 
No, the king did something even better. He forgave the servant's debt. He erased it, like it had never even existed. Whew. The servant must have been happy. He was. Then the servant left the king and went to another servant who owed him money. Not millions like he had owed the king. Not even half a million. The guy owed the servant a few thousand dollars. The servant demanded instant payment. The man begged and pleaded, but the unforgiving servant wouldn't listen. He had the man arrested and put in prison until his debt was paid. That's awful. The king thought it was awful too. In fact, when the king found out what happened, he ordered the unforgiving servant to come back. Uh-oh. The king asked the servant why he had been so unforgiving when the king had forgiven his huge debt. Then he put the servant in prison until the debt could be paid. Jesus said that when we don't forgive others with our whole heart, we are just like that unforgiving servant. Ah, I get it now. Since God forgives me all the time for small things and big things, I should do the same and forgive others. Well said, my friend. Well said.
wanna show your love. I'm loved by you. Purify my heart.